Our farmhouse here south of Kona in Hawaii is interesting in that it is completely off of the grid. Uh, it is not hooked up to any city power or water, sewer or gas systems. It's, it's completely isolated. And what I'd like to do today is go through some of the systems, uh, the water system, the gas system, the, the, the electrical system, and uh, just show you uh, how they work. And I'm going to start with the solar power, the, uh, the electrical system. If you look at the house itself, you don't see any solar panels on it. And that's because we need the, uh, the roof for rainwater catchment, because we're off the grid when it comes to the water line here as well. We store the water in this outbuilding in the big tank you see down there and you can see the solar panels on the roof and we'll go look at those in a minute okay here you can see the roof of the main house and you can see how it's designed to catch rainwater and then if we go over here here's the outbuilding you can see the solar panels there's 16 solar panels up near the top And then we added this set of panels right here to help the refrigerator run better. This has the same kind of roof, but uh, it's not for catching rainwater. You see, there's no gutters or anything. Now the power, obviously, it, it starts at with the sun. It comes down to the panels, and then you can see the wiring here takes it down below into the outbuilding and stores it, let me see if I can focus up here, it stores it in this battery set here. So we're going to go down there next and see what's inside. Now we are down below the roof and you can see the wiring on the solar panels coming down here to these boxes here and over here is the water catchment tank. If you look at these boxes here, this one is an inverter and the inverter takes your DC power from their solar panels and converts it to AC. And any electricity that has to be stored are stored in these 12 batteries here. These are Rolls batteries. They're specially made for off-the-grid homes and projects like that. Now, of course, in the real world, it doesn't always work out that you have sun every day and especially here in Hawaii more often than not it's cloudy when that happens we have to turn to a generator which we have over here so when the power is running a little low because of the the clouds or, or because you're using a lot at night, for example, you can come out here and the generator is already hooked up to the rest of the system. Over here, we have the gas. That's for the gas system. I'll talk about that in another video. And uh, here we've got a washing machine. It's just a regular washing machine. And I'm doing a load. But the power, you see, is entirely coming from the batteries which got their power from solar or from the generator. Over here the dryer is a gas dryer which is the only practical thing you can use when you're off the grid. Here's a very important electrical appliance that most people don't think about. It's an electric water pump. It keeps the water pressure up in your house in the plumbing system.